Gen Z. Why American teens are so sad. Stressed kids and that's mental health crisis. Gen Z thinks depression, millennial and Gen Z. A night of sorrow in Southern California. Friends and family mourning the loss of 13 year old Rosalie Avila. I remember the first time I saw a teenage girl that was going to take her life, instead lay her life down to Jesus and encounter him was the moment I realized, God, we need you in our generation now more than ever. It's not enough for us to wait for them to come to us. We need to go to them. The time of being on the defensive is over. The time of hiding and standing by is over. People that knew me, know me can tell you, I live my life in parties. I live my life through girls. I live my life through drugs, through football, through all these different things that I put my, my trust into, my identity into. And when that all came crashing down, you're going through something in life. You're going through something in your house. You're going through something with your family. The Bible says, what does it gain that you gain the whole world, but you lose your soul? We are sick and we are tired of the stories and statistics of what's wrong with our generation. We are done being indoctrinated. We won't allow the enemy to take any more students' lives. Drugs, alcohol, suicide, depression, anxiety. Won't be what this generation is known for. When we become unashamed of the gospel, the world will listen. When we push back against the enemy, we will win. Gen Z is longing for more of God. Our schools need Jesus. Students need salvation. Teenagers need hope. He will take away fear, anxiety, suicide, heaviness, all of that. Addiction, he will take it away. I'm gonna count to the count of three. If you're serious about that, I want you to meet me right here. One, two, three. Meet me right here. It takes one person to say that's me. Come on. I know there's more people. Congratulations, bro. I know there's more people. This, don't, don't, don't think this is just a quick one decision. That's it. This is you, you, you give your life over to Christ. I know there's more people. And I want us to pray this prayer together. Pray this prayer together. Say, Lord Jesus. Gen Z, you are called to answer the cry of your generation.